What's up guys? Welcome to Exotic Idiotics. My name is Jeff. And my name is Maddox. And today we have got a new baby armadillo lizard. They look like little dragons. They're freaking awesome. And we personally think that they're extremely underrated. I agree with that. They're very hardy. You know, instead of talking about it, let's just let's just show you what we're talking about. So stick, stick around, around and let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. So this is our baby armadillo lizard's enclosure. It's a 25 gallon tall. They don't really need anything bigger than that. They can get away fine in the 20 from the time they're as big as our little dude to the time they're full grown. Their full grown size is about four, four and a half inches. Um, and they do love to climb. They'll fit into any nooks and crannies. So make sure you've got a lot of stuff for them to climb around on, some good cover. They like to bask between around a 90-ish range, but we usually find ours, we're assuming because he's a baby still, in that 80 to 85 range. Um, and then they just need a water dish. Keep it shallower, because they will drown at a small size. So this is Tuk Tuk. Uh, we named him after the armadillo rolly ball creature from uh, Zaya in the Last Dragon. And what is, um, what is Zaya in the Last Dragon? The new Disney movie. What's on Disney Plus? First of all, it's not new. Second of all, it's Raya in the Last Dragon. Like, come on. You gotta know this stuff. You have a seven-year-old daughter. How do you not know the new Disney movies? She doesn't even watch new Disney movies. That's true. All she does is watch is YouTube. She watches, what, what is that channel? Let's go, bro! Like, that's all she watches, man. Like, I don't know. Like, dude, I'm, I'm 38 years old, man. I can't keep up with the Disney times. Like, come Move, on. Moving on. The, he, he is very little. Oh, yeah. See, look. Here, this is, okay, so for, for size reference, we're going to put an index finger right next to him. And you can see how tiny he is. Um, but... The reason I was saying that they were underrated earlier is because they're very curious, they're very personable, almost like a little monitor, monitor lizard. They're now, not as smart. In fact, they are incredibly stupid. Okay. Stupid? Maybe not incredibly, but oh they are God. stupid. And, but, <laughs> but, like, you also think I'm incredibly stupid because I forgot the name of the Disney movie. So, like... You're right. I do. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway. So, like, let's let's not get focused on the intelligence level of the lizard. Because <laughs> um, nobody really knows. Like, monitor lizards, they've done scientific experiments. They can count, you know, whatever. This video's not about monitor lizards. Moving on. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, you're right. It's not about monitor <laughs> lizards. But it's also not about the intelligence level of him versus monitor. We're talking about his interactivity. Is that a word? It is now. Cool. Anyway, so yeah, he's very interactive. Whenever we come down here, he's in the enclosure. He's always trying to check us out. And, you know, even though he's really small and I'm, as Maddox likes to say, quite large, um, it's, uh, you can see he's not really that fearful. I can reach down, I can pet him. He's, he's cautious, but he's not bolting away. He's not running. Um, but when he does run, he is really fast. Wicked fast, like blazing fast, super speed, sonic. Flash? Is that a movie? No? I don't oh, know. Dude, nobody watches, watches DC, DC Universe anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so he, I mean, but they're just, they're just awesome. Um, when Maddox wanted to get one, I was kind of like, why do you want one of these things? Like, what's so special about him? And now that I have them, like, I just really kind of like them. So now we're going to discuss how to handle them. They're very finicky sometimes. They're very fragile. You're very finicky sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, see, as you can see, they don't really like being grabbed, but this is really the only way to do it. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm trying. Your turn, Kevin. Well, I'm just, all right, here we go. Ready? All right, 
so that's the goal is to get him onto your hand. You're, you don't like to grab him. We don't recommend grabbing in any reptile ever because that's that straight predator instinct. You're grabbing them from above. Something this size is gonna be very susceptible to birds, owls. I mean, when it's this small, it's susceptible, susceptible to everything. everything. But um, a lot of predation is gonna come from above. These are gonna live more on the ground. Um, they're gonna hide in rock crevices and stuff like that in the wild. So you cannot come down and grab them, but you do want to interact with them. And you can see he's moving around. He's checking it out. He's trying to see what's going on. I can rub him a little bit with my tongue. He's not, or my, my tongue. Your tongue? My th Whatever, dude. Maybe I wanted to kiss a dragon. Shut up. So yeah, um, yeah big Tom <laughs> Thumb right here. I'm rubbing him and he's not, he's not freaking out. He's not bolting. And this is how you kind of have to tame them down because they're so small, they're so fragile and they can be really flighty. Um, I really want to show you guys how fast he is. Do you think we can work that out? He doesn't need to eat. Dope. So when they are at this size, just feed them baby crickets, baby roaches, mealworms, even wax worms. Basically anything that they'll, they can fit in their mouth, they'll eat just about anything. They're voracious little predators. Like, I mean, they look like dragons and they act like dragons. I mean, you know, for, for any like, I don't know, Game of Thrones fans out there, like this thing is pretty much like the closest you could get. It just doesn't fly. <laughs> so, uh, um, but yeah, it's super crazy. Um, the first time we watched it eat, I was like, oh God, <laughs> like this thing is insane. <laughs> Um, but they will also tong feed too. Um, that's another way you can kind of build a relationship with them. We don't always recommend building relationships strictly through food because you do want them to learn to trust you, not really just learn for you to be their food giver. But when they're this small and um, they're all they're scared of everything just because of the sheer size difference of them compared to the rest of the world, we do use food to try to build trust. So we're gonna try to get him to tong feed here a little bit. This is a baby Madagascar hissing roach. He's never eaten roaches before, so it's really interesting. As you can see, just rearing up, absolutely brutal. <laughs> Ripped it off the togs, split it in half, and the killing blow. Vicious little freaking beast. You see him shaking his head back and forth. Like, they're just so cool, man. Taking it down like a champion. And that's a pretty decent sized meal for him, honestly. Um, They only need to eat every other day. Just feed them until they stop eating. It's like a baby water monitor. It's the best way to compare these things care as babies, I guess. Uh, they just don't need as hot of a basking spot. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it is pretty similar. Uh, with miss the, miss with them the down a couple times a day. Light um, needed. They, they come from a more desert environment, so it's nice to give them just a little bit of humidity. At morning, at night, just to keep them going, but not that much. But and I know, like this, this roach probably looks like a pretty big prey item. Can I mean the general rule of thumb with reptiles is you don't want to feed them anything wider than the distance between their eyes. Um, so this probably looks like a pretty big meal for him. But they, it's almost like feeding a rat to a water monitor like they kind of like take it down slowly and they swallow it whole um and he does have a really wide head in relative to the size of his body so he will be able to take this down he right now he's really nervous because there's cameras in his face and i'm screaming in his ear and we're talking about disney movies and i'm sure he's just confused but uh you know he'll take it down eventually i promise thank you guys so much for watching it feels great to be back uh you know we we took a little break for a while um, we had a lot of things going on in our personal life. We had some neighbors that had some stuff going on. We were helping them out, cooking them meals and uh, taking care of some of their animals. And then we got a new roommate who is actually working the camera for us right now. So um, <laughs> so he, uh, he, he moved in, so we were getting him all settled. So we just had a lot of stuff going on. And at the end of the day, content creation is something we do for fun and we enjoy it and we love putting these videos out for you guys and introducing you to some possibly new animals you've never seen before. However, Talking... we're not going to put it above family and friend matters, but it does feel good to be back. I'm it does, it does, it does, absolutely. 
So that was a little bit about the armadillo lizard. Uh, we didn't go into too much detail as far as their care and stuff. If you have any really more specific questions, leave them down in the comments below. We check all of our comments. We try to reply to everybody. So we will definitely answer any questions that you have. And make sure that if you enjoyed this video, to leave a big thumbs up. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, I don't care. But if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, man. It just helps with the algorithm. Feed me, bro. Feed me. <laughs> Keep that algorithm rolling. All right, um, links to Instagram, Discord, all that's in the description. Merch, check out the merch, bro. We got some good stuff, bro. I'm gonna go quiz him on Disney movies, and we will see, see you next time. time.